Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Right now we're taking a look at uh, some of the calculations for um, calculating derivatives of basic functions. Right now we're going to take a look at uh, the derivatives of trigonometric functions. Now the derivation of these formulas can be found in our differential uh, calculus textbook as well as in some uh, trig function uh, rules for calculating derivatives of trig functions lectures uh, by the author David Massey. Um, so if you want a more in-depth review, uh, proof, and derivation of these formulas, you can certainly check those out. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the derivatives of the trig functions. So the derivative of sine of x is just cosine of x. It's very simple, very easy to work with. Uh, we're going to use that extensively. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. So you can see that uh, sine of x and cosine of x sort of work a little bit in tandem here. The derivative of uh, tangent of x is secant squared of x. Which is also sometimes expressed as 1 over cosine squared. So you can use either of those for tangent of x. Um, now we're going to take a look at, we'll go over to cotangent because we just took a look at tangent. The derivative of cotangent is negative uh, cosecant squared of x. Which is uh, negative 1 over sine squared of x. So again, you can see uh, cotangent and tangent sort of uh, working together a little bit there. Uh, we go up to secant of x. Um, the derivative of that is tangent of x times secant of x. And last, we'll take a look at uh, the derivative of cosecant, which is just negative cosecant times cotangent. So we can see that the six of the six trig functions, they kind of pair off. These two uh, sort of work in tandem. These two do as well. And last, those two. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take a look immediately at some examples. So we're uh, asked for the derivative of 7 cosine of 2x using the chain rule. We know we're going to have to multiply this out by 2 because g of x is 2x. And we have 7 that's going to be turned into a negative 7 when we turn uh, cosine into negative sine. And we want to multiply 7 times 2 to use the chain rule, and we get negative 14 sine of x. Now this function looks a little bit more intimidating. Uh, we know we're going to have to break it up using the product rule because we have uh, one term of x over here, one term here, and then another here and here. So we're going to have to break that up using the product rule. First, we're going to do a derivative of 7x to the fourth times cosecant. And then we're going to do 7x to the fourth times the derivative of cosecant. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the sign immediately because this is negative. And now we're going to go ahead and use the chain rule again. Um, first, take the derivative of 2x cubed. Take that 3 down, multiply it by the 2, is negative 6x squared. And now simply the derivative of sine x times negative 2x cubed is going to be negative 2x cubed cosine of x. So if you can kind of imagine this on the line above, the derivative of this term here is 28x cubed cosecant of x minus 7x to the fourth cosecant cotangent minus 6x squared sine of x minus 2x cubed cosine of x. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this function. Um, for this function, we're going to need both the uh, product rule and uh, we're going to need the chain rule as well. So first, 
let's take the derivative of 3 to the negative x and multiply it by tangent 2x cubed. <coughs> now remember using the chain rule, we need to bring down the negative 3 from the exponent, so we have negative ln 3 times 3 to the negative x tangent of 2x cubed. And now we need the derivative of tangent of 2x cubed. So we have two uh, separate things we need to look at. We need to look at the derivative of tangent of 2x cubed itself, and then the derivative of just 2x cubed, which is 6x squared. So we're going to go ahead and uh, multiply out the 6x squared in the front first. So this is immediate usage of the chain rule. And then on the inside, when we take the derivative of that tangent, the inside term is going to remain the same. The only change in the inside term is when we multiply it using the chain rule. So the derivative of 3 to the negative x tangent of 2x cubed is going to be negative natural log of 3 times 3 to the x times tangent of 2x cubed plus 6x squared times 3 to the negative x times secant squared of 2x cubed. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at this last function here. This is an easy function to work with. It's cosine, uh, cosine divided by uh, cosecant, but what that really is just cosine theta times sine theta. And uh, we need the product rule to work with this here. So we're going to go ahead and first take the derivative of sine theta and multiply it by cosine theta. That's just cosine theta, cosine theta, or cosine squared theta. And then we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of the cosine, which is negative sine times sine, or negative sine squared theta. So we have the derivative of cosine theta over cosecant theta, which is equal to the derivative of cosine theta times uh, sine theta, which is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.